I have over to you all. Yet another beautiful time. Great 10 science is in front of you. Chemical basis of life as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus. And we will talk about water in this chemical basis of life content. And chapter number 1, video number 14 is in front of you. What we will learn in this session. At the end of the session, you will understand about water in a standard way everybody knows about water but there is something we want to learn in terms of science subject so it's going to talk about specific properties of water as well let's get into the subject and learn about water in a deep way and you're definitely going to have some nice knowledge about water at the end of the session If you are looking at the picture over there, that particular person has lots of water inside his body. The highest proportion of the body mass of living organism is composed of water. That is right. Water is an inorganic compound. You know that when there is hydrocarbon compositions, that is becoming organic and we learned about it in our previous sessions. So the water hasn't got carbon in it as only got hydrogen and oxygen. Therefore, the water is becoming inorganic compound. The next interesting thing is about two-thirds of the body weight of the most of the organisms by water. If you are weighing around 90 kilograms and 60 kilograms going to be water in your body. It is a quite an interesting one, right? So water is an essential medium. For the maintenance of living matter, like you already know about from the grade 6 subject also, living things and non-living things are there. The living things such as animal, plants and people, water is essential medium for the maintenance of living matter. The maintenance of living matter can only happen when there is enough water in the plant, in animals like lion or lioness and human being. So we don't want water for the vehicle to run but it requires for the engine to get cool i know that life originated in water life starting from the water composition of water is very simple it is hydrogen and oxygen now as water is the most abundant inorganic compound found in living beings it's important in many biological functions in Many biological functions, water is taking a very premier place. Now, we will understand those things. So, we came to know about water in particular, but the specific properties of water and contribution of them to the maintenance of life, that we will understand. We are once again talking about maintenance of life. Yes. The specific property of solvent, water is a very good solvent that property is contributing for certain things now C provides a medium for biochemical reactions in the cells of organism now when the digestion is happening for the food without the water digestions cannot happen so the water is taking a very big part to give energy to your body when the carbohydrate is being taken inside the carbohydrate will break into its simple form. Am I right? Okay. Now, when you are taking that carbs, when it is broken into pieces and when it is becoming like glucose, the water definitely taking a big major role over there. You'll already learn about those things in your earlier sessions also. So the water is definitely giving a lot and lot of functionality in the biochemicals. The main constituent in the extracellular fluid of organism. When you're talking about this particular cell in front of you, inside the cells there are around about 42% of water. That's a big portion. So the fluid inside the cell, they call it as intercellular fluid. That intercellular fluid, fluid most of the constituent or most of the things are water. So the main constituent in the extracellular fluid of the organism is what? its water now the next is also very important facilitates removal of excretory material and fecal matter of animals 
you're going and you're passing urine and you're going to the toilet and when it is coming smoothly out of your, from your bowel that is only happening because of you're taking enough water inside your body when you don't have enough water inside the body that's going to be difficult for you to do those kind of excretory removal functions now the next one is about fishes breathing important in respiration of aquatic organism as oxygen is soluble in water the fish is when 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 fish taking the water inside its mouth the oxygen goes inside how the oxygen is dis yeah dissolved it's soluble in the water with that help fish is breathing that is enough for her okay now we came to know about it another specific properties about a coolant it's a hot out there it's burning hot when you're taking water what happens your body is becoming cool when enough water is there for your all activities it is contributing to your maintenance also due to high specific heat capacity the body temperature does not fluctuate quickly with changes in the environment 70 percentage or 60 percentage of the water which is controlling your body to become cooler so what do you mean by heat capacity the amount of heat needed to increase temperature by 1 degree celsius in 1 kilograms of mass is what you call heat capacity so due to high specific heat capacity that one the body temperature does not fluctuate quickly it is not going up and down very quickly because of our water intake so we must drink a lot of water to be cool so high cohesive and adhesive force is what we are going to see as next property what is that have you ever thought how water transport in plant up you see that one in that animation also it says that water is smoothly going how it's happening that's because of high cohesive and adhesive force what is that high cohesive and adhesive force let's understand transport water to the upper parts of the plant due to high cohesive high cohesive means there is an attraction between water to another water and adhesive means water to another molecular attraction water to another molecular attraction those forces are there in the plant that's the reason the water is moving upwards that water specific property high cohesive and adhesive force property the plant is getting uninterruptedly the water through its stem now the next property is about differential expansion in freezing have you ever thought of this this is a very big question how fish in north pole living in water when everything frozen out now if it is frozen outside how beneath here the fish is living when the fish is swimming under that water will it be cold and frozen let's understand that one density of the water is higher than density of the ice oh that is the reason now when the ice cubes are less dense that mean it will float on top of water it will float on top of water when ice is formed they come to top layer of water keeping water as it is in the bottom that means beneath the water is not frozen it is normal in the water's temperature that's the reason fish living peacefully there because ice is on top of it covering everything so this provides living environment for aquatic organisms what a lovely setups the nature has isn't it okay now we understood and now we know that water and what are the properties of water some amazing properties of water we understood lovely till i meet you again in another beautiful session bye bye and take care of yourself